So, um, yeah, I think we can all agree that Miraculous, Miraculous is, is kind, kind of, of dying. dying. It is really sad to say because I know we love this fandom so much and we really worked hard to keep, you know, things active, especially throughout season five. But now that season five is over and not many people are happy with how it ended, I think it's safe to say that going into season six, we are not going to be the same Miraculous that we were before. We all enjoy Miraculous for different reasons, but the one thing that's kept us all going kept us all invested is that premise the possibility of a reveal and for the slow burn build up to lead to something and with season five feeling kind of like the end of the initial arc while yes we kind of got rid of gabriel we didn't get the reveal i know a lot of us might have been satisfied with how it ended but honestly five seasons of keeping us on the edge of our seats for this one thing is kind of feeling like a little too long so i understand why a lot of people have slowly departed from the miraculous fandom and being so for real right now myself and kind of lazy included have honestly wondered what our future in the miraculous community is gonna be season five was great it was very plot driven but we have no idea what direction the show is going in and from what we know i don't think we're going to like it very much but who knows we'll see what happens the thing is during the pandemic in around 2021 right before season four aired and right about when the first few episodes were airing miraculous became a super big thing i know around season two a lot of us did start watching the show and were really interested in it but when it blew up was on tiktok and again 2021 2022 that was the miraculous era everyone was talking about it everyone was posting everyone Everyone was super involved in the fandom and they had all seen the first three seasons. You know, we, we were all freaking out when Marinette told Alia that was a super fun moment that I think we all came together for. A lot of great things happened during that time and we can't deny that. But since then, there has been a pretty obvious decline in interest for Miraculous. Less and less people are watching the videos. <laughs> less and less people are staying up for new episode releases and less and less people are waiting for the reveal and i'm sorry but even the movie was a flop it was literally a flop it was great it was so well made you can tell there was a lot of money put into it a lot of time but barely anyone watched it compared to like what they were expecting they thought this was, this was gonna be some cinematical oh what the they thought this was gonna be some cinematic <laughs> release but there were not as many viewers as anticipated you know that's kind of sad because they put a lot of effort into the movie and there's a lot you know one of the things was the leaks there were some leaks in season five where they pretty much spoiled the whole season and maybe even season six there were scripts there were storyboard animated scenes and it really did ruin the experience for like thousands of people who saw the videos it kind of ruined like my experience too because i did end up seeing like one or two of them yeah that kind of got a lot of people to stop watching another thing not everyone has the time to check which dub is coming out when when there's gonna be subs what the actual timeline is what the order is supposed to be this is something that actually really sucks about this show and the fandom and the way it's just been presented on tv there is absolutely no consistency in the schedule one day you're watching episode two of season four suddenly it's episode seven but you don't know it's episode seven and also it's in some like language that you've probably never heard of and that means people can't really create content properly surrounding the episodes reviews theories reactions these all have big parts to play in a fandom people might not even be able to discuss things with others because they're waiting for the right order or because maybe they're just sick of it sick of this schedule tired of not understanding anything about how the timeline works i feel like we, a lot of us can agree that if things have been done differently miraculous would still be thriving the fan base would still be as strong i also wanted to take a moment to discuss your your thoughts on why you think Miraculous is dying. So let's read what you guys had to say. Someone said, the delay for Adrianette to happen. When Luke and Nette began, everyone was all for it and only for them to break up because Marinette was still in love with Adrian and the feeling wasn't mutual. Then she got over him and he wanted her and it was just messy. This is so real. That whole Luke and Nette arc was extremely messy and the way it only happened for one episode after the season three finale made it seem like Luke and Nette was gonna become this big, plotline in season four i don't know 
Someone said, because they still treat it as a kid show even though it has so much potential. That's really interesting. I feel like season five, they definitely like amped it up, made it more mature, maybe even a little more dark. But I still get why a lot of people just are kind of deterred by the fact that there are some, I guess, like childish elements to the show. Um, and I know we can all agree that there are some pretty cringy scenes. So I guess that might have something to do with it. Not for me though, but <laughs> y'all stay safe. And this is the one with the most likes. Um, Black and Sunsets said, to be honest, I think, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think it's because the series took so long to get Marina and Adrian together for them to just probably break up again. And it was so tiring to watch them have this love square for so long that it's just annoying and no one really wants to watch it anymore. A very good take, actually. I mean, I don't want Adrian to break up, but I do think it might end up happening, or at least it will happen and the reveal will happen. As the other person said, this is just messy. Like, they're dragging it on and on to the point where it's just, like, insufferable. One day it's Adrian and Marinette, then they break up. Then the, the reveal still doesn't happen, but watch, like, Lady Noir is gonna happen or something. They need to know that at some point it's okay to do the reveal and uh, find something new to keep us on the edge of our seats. It doesn't just have to be the reveal. And if it is, maybe the show shouldn't go on for that long. But that's, but that's a topic for another day. Anyways, you know me. I'm still gonna be watching. This show got me in a chokehold. But I think I really get why the fandom is dying. And I guess, but I guess all we can hope is that season six is gonna be like a big improvement. And maybe, I don't know, one day the fandom will be restored to its 2021 greatness. But anyways, have a great rest of your day. Wise Kid out.